Hey guys, Sean Hammond with Premier Guitar here. Today we have Kevin Harvey from J Rocket Audio. Kevin, how are you doing? I'm doing great, guys. Happy, happy to be here. Um, I mentioned this to Sean before, but I'm uh, obviously a longtime fan of Premier Guitar, so it's an honor to be uh, on the channel. Thanks for having me. Of course, good to have you, man. Um, so you are here to demo a new pedal that you guys are doing, the Univerb. Yes, yes. So this is our brand new Univerb pedal from J Rocket Audio Designs. Um, it's a Univibe uh, spring reverb combination pedal with uh, just about every bell and whistle on it that you could possibly want. Um, it's it's awesome. Now that's those are two of my favorite effects, but I got to say it is kind of a, an unusual combination and just you know a single simpler pedal. What what kind of led to that? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, obviously Univibe is an immensely popular effect. Uh, you know, anyone going for the Hendrix thing is a, is a Univibe, <laughs> generally a Univibe fanatic. Um, but sort of the concept behind this pedal was, you know, one, how can we create the most accurate Univibe recreation that's more convenient for the modern player? And then also for those you know, ambient guys and gals who want to add an extra layer of just drippiness to their, uh, to their Univibe sound, we decided to add the reverb circuit, uh, which again is like a 50s style tank reverb. And it's also independent of the Univibe. So you can use the Univibe without the reverb and the reverb without the Univibe, uh, which just makes it super awesome and convenient. And they're just controllable based off the, uh, the foot switch is right at the bottom of the pedal. Nice. Now I know you didn't specifically design this pedal and this might be a totally nerdy question, but were the goals with this pedal to like mimic a couple of Holy Grail uh, vibe and reverb devices for you guys or more like an era or do you know? Do you yeah, know? So, so with both with both elements of the pedal, the Univibe and the reverb, uh, portion of the pedal, but you know, obviously, the Univibe pedal is is designed to recreate the authentic sounds of that the classic '60s Univibe. We we all know. Uh, I I always mispronounce the company Shin I Shin Yai. I mm -hmm. the, the original company that did the Univibe. That's what we're uh, we're recreating here, and we've we've done that in a really really accurate way. And then the the reverb circuit is do designed to replicate you know, an authentic 50s, you know, think old Fender spring tank, uh, classic 50s reverb tank type okay. sound. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But I was like, well, maybe they're going for like a Dan Electro or something. Those old Dan Electros had cool reverb too. Okay, so do you want to tell us about the features and controls? Because I haven't actually gotten to see this yet. We just hopped on the call a couple minutes ago. So I'm intrigued to see like what is here to control it all. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, I'll just kind of run through the switches and the knobs just to give you a, a quick overview. Um, starting at the bottom, uh, we have the, the on-off foot switch, which um, activates and deactivates just the Univibe portion of the circuit. And then the center foot switch allows you to toggle between the vibrato and chorus sounds, uh, you know, instantaneously on the fly. So that was, a you know, a modern update that um, Chris and the team wanted to include on the pedal. Um, you know, the, the original Univibe switching between those sounds was a, a toggle on the face of the pedal. And this allows you to switch between those tones, you know, on the fly in the middle of a song or, or anything like that, which is great. And then as I mentioned before, the reverb circuit is independent. So it has its own foot switch here on the bottom left um, that allows you to, you know, engage and disengage that portion, portion of the circuit. And then as far as the, the rest of the layout, um, you know, as far as the knobs and, and things, it's pretty much what you'd expect except for one addition. Um, so as far as what controls the unified portion of the circuit, you have speed and intensity, um, which, you know, that's pretty self-explanatory. The speed controls the speed of the modulation, the intensity controls how much the pitch is actually modulating. And then, and so that is controls the tone in vibrato mode. When you engage chorus mode, which is is actually engaged right now because of the you see the green light, um, 
that is, uh, you have the additional chorus mix control, which allows you to dial up uh, more or less of the chorus effect into the, the mix of your signal. And then there's, you know, the output control, which controls the, the actual output of the pedal, which has a little bit more output on tap, actually, than a, a traditional original Univibe unit. And then these two knobs over on the left side of the pedal uh, control the, the reverb knob at the top here controls the reverb mix, and then the dwell control controls um, kind of the size of the reverb. And those were on, you know, traditional spring tank units, so we just we just copped those exact controls to keep it as accurate as possible. Okay, well, and I am, like I said, these are two of my favorite effects, um, and I'm chopping at the bit to hear them, but I guess just one other question comes to mind for now, especially regarding the vibe circuit, the vibe chorus circuit. Now, is it all digital or is it like going for the old photo cell thing with actual photo cells in there? The, it's all, all analog, all old photo cell. And actually even the pedal is, is even runs at 24 volts, just like the original. Um, but I, I must mention it's actually powered by your standard nine volt DC center negative plug. So that was another uh, feature that that Chris was really adamant about adding. We really wanted to capture the you know the authentic 24 volt power, uh, 24 volts of power tone, uh, but make it convenient for the modern player so you can slap it on any pedal board without having to worry about a special 24 volt power supply or anything like that. So tried to make it as user friendly but authentic as possible. Yeah, it's always a pain in the ass when you're like, oh shit, I can't plug in the thing that is powering everything else. I might blow it or whatever, um, or it just won't work. But okay, cool to know on that. Well, why don't you show us some of your favorite sounds? Yeah, definitely. So, you know, the, the sound that I used kind of at the, the start of the video had, you know, this kind of medium uh, affected reverb tone and then a, a pretty high intensity univibe tone. Um, and here I'll actually switch to the vibrato circuit now to give you a little bit of a taste of that. And then I just want to show you guys briefly the reverb circuit just on its own because it's just a really beautiful sounding reverb. We can dial it up a little bit and get some kind of ambient tones going. So just a really classic, beautiful spring sound. Okay. Any other more extreme extreme sounds you want to show us? Because, like, I don't know, sometimes it's fun to just crank everything. Oh, yeah. So let's go back to the chorus here. And uh, re-engage the univerb, or sorry, the univibe portion. <laughs> We can get a little more reverb going as well. Cool. So how much is this pedal going for A and B? When's it available? And C, where can we go to find out more? So First place to go to find out more would be uh, jrocketaudiodesigns.com. 
uh, or rocketpedals.com. And uh, I believe it's going to be available later on this month. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, the price point is three, either three sixty nine or three ninety nine. Uh, I unfortunately can't recall off the top of my head. That's something I should know. Uh, but yeah, it'll be coming coming to you very soon. <laughs> Okay, perfect, man. Do you mind choosing one more sound for us while you play us out? Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Sweet. Thank you, Kevin. While you're dialing that up, I just want to say thanks to everyone watching. Uh, please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any other gear spotlights or rig rundowns, big fives, all the cool stuff we do. Um, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.